Right now we're standing here with the Bob Hampshire number 63, one of the winningest drivers on the All-Star Circuit of Champions, Jack Hewitt. Jack, uh, first of all, welcome to Grandview here this evening. A great turnout of cars. Thank you very much. It's my first time here, and it's a pretty neat little racetrack. It's real racy, it's fast, and uh, now we got 40 laps to go out there and see what we can do. Of course, you got a decent starting spot. You had a pretty good time trial, so uh, you're qualified, and you're out there in the feature event. Uh, have you taken a look at the track conditions for the feature at all? Yeah, well, they graded it and watered it, and by not racing here too much, I'm not sure how long it's going to last or whatever, and I'd have to say the guys that run here a little bit will have a little advantage, but uh, hopefully we'll be there at the end. Of course, you're one of the most versatile drivers in this race, without question. You've been racing uh, dirt champ cars, sprint cars, and uh, a lot of late models this year. Yeah, we've uh, kind of talked Hamp into getting a lot of race cars, about to wear him out, I think. But it's just a different challenge getting the different race cars. I like racing without the wings and uh, and the big tracks like the mile. And the stock cars are just a different challenge, and I like doing it all. Well, you're certainly doing quite well. i seen uh, you were in the rundown in the World 100 out at Eldora, and I think they had somewhere around 200 late models for that race. Yeah, they had 204 there, and we qualified ninth, and I think that was our fifth late model race of the year. So we was pretty tickled. We broke in the feature, but we was coming on. I felt we were pretty competitive with the bigger names. Of course, the Grandview Speedway here is just a small 3 8 mile. Probably the main thing in the feature event is going to be lap traffic. Yeah, well, I don't know. It should happen pretty quick, as fast as the leaders look like they're going. Uh, sometimes it's your advantage, and sometimes it's not. depending on who's working the best. Of course, uh, in the feature event tonight, again, if you start up front, it's certainly going to help you. But uh, on a track like this, it seems like just about any groove works for you if you try it. Well, I was watching the concert, you know, and I've watched all the heats, and the bottom looks like it's gone, but then guys go around passing guys down there. So, yeah, as long as there's a two-groove racetrack, it should be a pretty good race. I've seen in the heat races, guys were actually running up on the bank down on the inside. Yeah, that's uh, goofing up, you know. I mean, we've taken it in. We didn't go in hard enough to slide out to stay on the racetrack, or your car's got too good a bite, and it's drove you down on the infield. And uh, we don't really mean to do that, but sometimes it don't hurt us too bad. Of course, a couple more big races coming up this week. Do uh, you plan on sticking around for the remainder of the weekend? Or I guess there's also some races out in Ohio also. Well, we gotta, we'll got stay for Williams Grove Friday night, and right now our plans are going back to Fremont because they got the JW Hunt uh, special there, and it's a late model and a sprint car deal, and we'll have both our cars there. But if we'd happen to do pretty good at Williams Grove Friday night, we can always change plans and stay there. And I guess JW Hunt is one of the sponsors on your 63 car? Yeah, he's our main sponsor this year, and... Uh, they call him uh, the Strawberry King, but he's more of a king than that to us. Okay, Jack, again, we want to wish you the best of luck. It's certainly great to have you here in uh, central Pennsylvania. I guess we're actually in eastern Pennsylvania here tonight. Kind of a damp night, and uh, we appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. You're one of the friendliest guys we've had the chance to talk to this year. Thank you very much. Right now we're down here in the winner's circle, Donnie Kreitz Jr., the winner tonight, uh, waiting for a push truck, I guess. Donnie, once again, super job out there tonight. Thank you. The car was working real good, and we had a lucky break there when uh, had a flat tire and the red flag came out at the same time. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. We uh, seen it upstairs. I guess you actually uh, were sideways here on the front stretch when you had that flat tire. Yeah, it, it's been, it was going down for a couple laps there and I fell at that because the front end was getting real light uh, and uh, you know we were just lucky that the red flag came out. So certainly the uh, red flag came at the right time for you. You started up front that certainly had to help you but uh, time trials were the main thing. You had a good time and you got to start up front. Yeah the, the car worked pretty good all night in time trials in the heat and in the feature and uh, I'm sure that made the difference of starting up front. Of course, Kenny Jacobs tried you a couple times. Seemed like he was a little quicker up here in three and four, and uh, you had everybody covered down to one and two. Uh, well, our tire that we had on originally was a lot better tire than this one. Uh, the one that we had to put on in the red was a little bit too soft, and uh, the car really started slowing up towards the end of the race. I see a for sale sign here on the 69, and uh, track announcer Ernie Saxton said earlier you could buy this car and race it tonight. Oh, I think you could buy it and race it in October, maybe. <laughs> okay, Donnie, you got a push truck waiting on you here right now, so we'll let you go again. We want to congratulate you. You've been doing super, and, uh, of course, a lot of big races coming up this weekend. Uh, yeah, we're going to give them our best shot. Okay, again, congratulations. Thank you.